Hey YouTube, Striker5570, and I know I haven't made an update video in quite a while for my printer, but uh, I've been really busy with school, and um, but anyways, uh, I finally got around to just messing around with my printer again, and um, last time I left off, I was getting print quality pretty much like this, and uh, you can see I had that blobs on curved surfaces problem, and it was just terrible. It ruined pretty much the whole print. Um, yeah, the surface finish is pretty poor. And that was using uh, Cura, Cura slicing software. Um, however, my most recent print here, um, this is a shotgun shell caddy. Um, there's some empty shells here to hold um, shotgun shells for um, double reloading. And uh, besides some stringing on here there, that I had cut off with a knife, all of my uh, blobbing issues are gone. Um, see, it's nice and straight along all those curved surfaces. Um, for comparison, this was again on Kira with my previous settings. And you can see all the blobbing and inconsistent ridges right here. It's a little harder to see in the black filament. But um, all I did was um, I switched back to Slicer. Uh, and that seemed to solve it. And the whole reason I switched to Cura in the first place was for some reason in Repetier Host, uh, Slicer was not working. It would produce an unusable G-code. And... So I swapped over to Cura, I um, mean, using that through uh, Repetier Host, and that was working fine um, until I uh, started using my new printer. Um, but now it's producing pretty good quality. I've tweaked through the settings a little bit. Um, as you can see, those round corners right there are perfect. And one of the main reasons I noticed... Um, as I was putting the prints on the SD card, uh, I was putting the G-code on the SD card to print, that the file size for the um, for the slicer generated ones were maybe a third, if not less, the size um, of the ones that were slicing Kira. So what I believe was causing the this blobbing issue was the files were so large, the G-code generated was so fine that the printer um, couldn't couldn't uh, read it fast enough, even from the SD card, because um, it was slightly stopping and starting around all these curved surfaces, because a curved surface is much more complex um, in terms of coordinates um, than a straight line. Because as you see, the, the straight lines here, you know, focus on here, it turned out excellent. So that shows me that, you know, Printer kinematics are are fine um, in the in the z direction especially, um, but that it's just uh, you know a G code generation issue. So I seem to have solved that problem here. Um, these two prints show uh, um, just these are pretty much almost stock um, slicer settings. I do need to just modify some of the retraction settings because, like I said, I had some stringing going on here and I need to um, make it so it doesn't cross perimeters. I didn't check that box before I printed that. But uh, overall, I'm pretty stoked. This is, uh, I was kind of not excited <laughs> to uh, print things because knowing they turn out like this. But now that I have uh, solved that, I will be printing a lot more and hopefully I will. Uh, be able to make some more progress on my printer. Anyways, uh, thank you guys. Uh, please uh, leave a comment below, and I hope this video helps. Stay tuned.